One of the uh, features for the animatronic Tiki, I thought it would be cool to have an electronic torch and have it solid state. Uh, you can get these flickering LED uh, in different colors and use those for like a candle. So why not use them for a torch? So I put multiple LEDs together on a, on a circuit board in the background to try and get this. And then, as always, had thought it would really be cool not only to have a electronic flickering torch. And you can see there's the, the Tiki torch canister there that all the electronics will go in, and the flame will go on the top. Not only is it driven uh, just by power, to, you don't have to make it flicker. Uh, they flicker on their own. They're purchased this way. But I thought it'd really be cool to do something else with the torch to enable it to blow out. So someone can walk up and use this switch as an air flow switch. You can blow into it and have it strategically placed somewhere. And then use this timer switch so that you can blow it out. And then later on, kind of the gag would be they turn themselves back on like the uh, switches, the, the candles do on birthday cakes, the joke ones. Anyway, what we can do here... blew into the box and the candles go out the candle LEDs and what will happen here shortly in 30 seconds is they'll come on by themselves and that was a short 30 seconds but the whole point is that uh, as for the animatronic Tiki it could have a little gag feature in here that you could blow out the, the, the torch but it would come back now you can get uh, Arduino projects to do similar things, you can, but it eats up all the, the whole Arduino to do it. Uh, you can get regular LEDs and, and program them so they will flicker and you can put a switch in there to blow them out. And there's a lot of things on there. Um, the thing about it was that in this project I wanted to make sure there was enough uh, memory space and I.O. space in the Arduino left to do the control features that were important to the project. So in this case, I just got flickering LEDs and I used a 555 timer circuit to uh, have the time delay. So what it does is this switch, all it does, if we look inside, it's just shorting bars. And what will happen is uh, you blow into it I'll use a stick here to touch it. It grounds out and discharges the transformer. I'm sorry, the, tra the capacitor it, on the uh, 555 circuit right here. And there is a 1K resistor in series with it so I don't just discharge it instantaneously. And that's all it does. So the uh, 555 doesn't even do anything. It just sits there and retimes as the capacitor recharges up. So the, uh, the switch will be redone for the final project. And this whole assembly goes into the Tiki torch itself, so it won't be seen. The pieces and the circuit boards have been inserted into the Tiki canister. The wires have been run through the neck of the Tiki and hooked to the artificial flame. The two circuit boards are inside where when they get installed into the Tiki itself, the Tiki torch holder, they will be hidden. This is the Tiki torch fully assembled as a prototype. It's installed into the Tiki lantern on the Tiki stick and blowing into the hole of the switch. It goes out. And we'll wait a few seconds because it's an infinitely resettable flame.
And there we have it, the Tiki LED torch.